Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more RimWorld Alpha 17. So, you may notice that Gregor is currently on fire. Seems at the end of the episode he actually tried to harvest this burning bush and got himself some burns, so we're gonna have to uh, deal with that once he's no longer on fire. We do have two medicine that we can uh, give him though, so as soon as he gets the chance, should go back to base and put the fire out. Um, heal himself as well. So, what do I want to do today? Well, I want to do some expansion on this little half-assed security area. And the reason why I want to do that is because I feel like the only way that we're actually going to die from combat in this run, with this current setup that is, is by getting swarmed. Um, the deadfall traps are really good for swarming strategies, but I need to be able to block anybody who comes. So if we get like 20... Um, 20 raiders, tribes people usually, uh, I want to be able to force them through three holes essentially so that we've got our ranged units still able to fire while our melee units are actually at their full potential, that kind of thing. So Gregor is going to go into his bed and our number one doctor, which is Sadja, is going to tend to Gregor right away. We need to avoid infection, so getting that sorted as soon as possible. And number one priority. There we go. Wonderfully bandaged as well. It's not that much of a uh, an injury, to be honest. It's one point, well, just under one point of burn damage on a lot of stuff. So there's a few actual extreme burns, never mind. But should be fine, hopefully. Uh, can you refuel this stove? I just noticed that you ate raw meat, and that is because Thelona refuses to refuel his cooking stove, of which he is in charge. Uh, he's actually currently butchering animals as well, so we got cargo pods full of kibble. I'll actually take the kibble. The kibble is something that our uh, mufflers can go and grab. In fact, I've got them set to animal area too, so we don't really even need to haul it. It's just a food item available for them to grab right then and there, which is pretty good. Look at this massacre area. Jesus. We do need a little bit more wood, because we do need to refuel stoves, and I have noticed that our campfires have gone out yet again. So, getting that sorted is also a priority. We're going to be using up all, most of our wood building these right now. So, chopping down more wood is going to be good for us, but looks like Trigger is already on that. Very good. We've got some major breaks. Oh god, I thought that was a raid for a second. Oh dear. Alright, well, take as much of that wood as you can back home. These guys are going to work their way to us anyway. It's a bulk goods trader. So we might get something nice. We'll have to see. Uh, Thelona is our chief in communications, so once they arrive, I'll wake him up. And we can get chatting. Would like to move Trigger out of his little shack eventually. Just so that we don't have to use... Um, more than one campfire per area. I think we can split one campfire beyond all of that and it'll be a little chilly, but I think it'll be fine nonetheless. Right, uh, as for what we're gonna sell, I'm gonna do the usual thing of selling the minimal leathers and furs and maintain our muffalo and caribou stocks. Uh, let's see, rat meat, we could get rid of a little bit of rat meat, I suppose. But, I mean, we've got 1,236 food right now, so, you know. Not necessarily in need of too much food at the moment. I think we can survive with a fair amount that we've got, even after I give away this 18. Actually, I'll get rid of all of these little ones. We've got plenty of muffalo meat, so I think we'll be fine. Because I kind of want to build up our silver stores as well uh, along the way. So, I'm going to get rid of... Nine components, because we don't need components, we haven't got electricity, and it's going to be a while until we do, and I've seen plenty of compacted machinery uh, areas around here. In fact, the resources on this map that we haven't touched yet are quite abundant, so it's just a matter of time until we get access to them and have time to go grab them, and then it won't really matter how much uh, components we sell at this point, just as long as we have a few, it'll be fine. So yeah, we'll get 176 silver. That'll do for me just fine. And it looks like Thelona's gonna 
cook a little bit of a meal. Gregor's back to normal, which is good. Appreciate that, Gregor. Right. As for more security, I think what a good idea for these traps are is to go bam and bam, because we can actually walk over this one without being damaged. We can actually set one here and here then. So if they try to come here, they'll get hit by the deadfall traps, in theory. Um, when they see their friends being hit by deadfall traps, some of them actually learn to avoid the traps, so... It's not going to, uh, not all of them are going to actually trigger, but if enough of them trigger, then we're in a good spot. And of course, if they attack us from this side, then we just walk up here and we do effectively the same thing. So if we don't have really the cover, we've got kind of these areas to take cover around, if that is the case. Uh, we've got some simple meals left over. Good. Just checking that Thalon is not constructing when he should be cooking, but he knows best, so very nice, very nice. Gregor, what are you doing? Researching. What were you doing over here? Could you haul some wood while you're over this way? You might as well. Uh, we've still got mufflers. I think we've been getting a fair few self-tames on hares and things like that. I was just checking that we have slaughtered all but our two muffalo, which is quite important. We're back to minor breaks, so that's good. Tact apparel is still a thing. Nah, now we're at major breaks. Sadger, what's up? Ugly environment, awful bedroom, slept in the cold. That's fixed now. Feeling bad. Dead man's Parker ate without a table. You could do the eight without a table issue. Could solve that. That wouldn't be too bad, in fact. Solar flare, completely irrelevant. So if we mine this bit out, we could actually get ourselves a table in. Let me just check what the small table size is. Okay, so we could just mine this area. Oops. Temporarily, at least. And stick a table there with some chairs around it. And then people can eat with a table and we can get rid of that debuff. Traders are leaving. See you later. Thanks for your assistance. Ooh, squirrel. Uh, we're fine for me right now. I think we'll focus on other things, like research and stuff like that. Currently researching stone cutting. About just over halfway there. Very nice. That's where we want to be. Let's just make sure our campfires are fine. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should set somebody to haul properly. Well, actually, Trigger seems to be the one who's going to be in charge of refueling the campfires. So you should go eat and then, yeah, start refueling. Good. Or at least you should. You just went to relax socially, whatever. You do you, mate. You do you. Animal starvation. So those muffalo should come up here and go get the kibble because they're not stupid, right? Kibble is wind within their uh, animal area. I could also just make like a uh, a kibble zone for the animals. So if I went like new animal area, let's call it animal area three. I don't really care at the moment. I'm only going to use it temporarily. This is the kibble zone. So they can, uh, they can wander in this area and then they can eat that kibble for the time being. I'll just have them grazing over there, essentially. And then if we get raided, I'll bring them back. Gregor, bad mood, why? Very ugly environment. That we can fix. Uh, where's Trigger? Hauling silver. Okay, we'll let him do that because it's close to the base and on the way. And then we'll get him to uh, clean up the area. In fact, trigger cleaning one for now. Start cleaning. Because our area is pretty disgusting, I won't lie. So maybe we can get rid of that very ugly environment if we allow trigger to do this temporarily. We're being raided, and they're going to sap us, apparently. 
Right, so our animals need to come back to the home zone. In fact, animal area one. Come back to animal area one. Everybody else is back at base, hopefully. One, two, three, four. Yep. Everybody's here. So they've got frag grenades, but I expect most of them will die on their way. Could we get Thelona, could you build one more deadfall trap? And Sadja, could you build that one? Maybe we can... No, we can't get this done in time. Never mind. I was hoping they'd move some of that steel, but it was not meant to be. Alright, you guys, on your way up here, please. They've actually left our animals alone. So I'm going to tell them to go back. Thelona is going to block this one here. Trigger is going to stand here. Sadja is going to stand there. Actually, Sadja should stand there. And Gregor should block. Here we go. So, Grenade Grenadier should die by the deadfall traps. Except for he hasn't. Oh, God. Run. 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 It's just the Grenadier, and now he's dead. Alright, bring our ranged units back up. Did take some deadfall traps out with him, but... Hopefully. If I, um... Hmm. I kind of wanted to encourage... Oh, they're fleeing. Yes, the deadfall traps hit one of them. Sweet. All right, that kind of worked. Kind of. Um, the traps that we were trying to use ran out quite quickly. That's something to be aware of. We do need to haul this now. So the ones that successfully did their job, I mean, this one was going to do its job if it wasn't for the sapper, so we'll rebuild that one. And we need to build this in such a way, essentially, so that we can move through it without getting hit. I guess we could put one there. Essentially, the straight line here is going to be pretty sweet. Could we... Uh, what have you got? Machine pistol. We should probably chase them down, to be honest. Let's see if we can get Sadger to open fire on Kennedy before he gets off the map. It's unlikely, but it's worth a try. Because I won't mind his weapon. No, it's not going to happen. We're kind of in range, but not quite. Catch up to him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, fire. Oh, you hit him then. Okay, can we hit him again? This one might down him if we get it. Fire. No, he's gone. Worth a try. We did get ourselves an LMG, though. As well as some frag grenades, though I won't be using those. Uh, LMG, I guess he's going to go to trigger, because, yeah. Because he's pretty much a badass. Who is our second best shooter? That would be you. You get the short bow. So we got a slight weapons upgrade now, though it's obviously still subpar. And we should set all of these to auto rearm as well. So we don't want to get raided again. As for the gear on you, strip your clothing. You got an armored vest. That's really good. Strip the people and take their stuff. Um, the quality of this steel shiv. 6 over 1.6. And the club is 7 over 1.9. Roughly the same. Doesn't really matter. 
All right. And we're getting all of our deadfall traps back on. So we have survived a raid. Very nice. This still needs filling out with more deadfall traps, though. If we are going to survive the next one. That has to be one of our priority construction tasks. I do want to get a fourth room in, though, for Trigger, as we did mention. I'd prefer to not split all of our uh, campfires and stuff like that between this little hall and these three buildings here. If I could get four and then these two in here would have reasonably warm constants. Should be nice. So, I mean, let's look at our planning. These are eight. So if I went seven, essentially. That's how much I have to mine out in order to get it here. Then I'd also have to mine that top bit there so we could walk around the back. That's our mining job. Uh, Trigger has seemingly cleaned everywhere, so that's good. Uh, we're going to stop him from doing that now. He's now back on hauling and plant cutting when I tell him, hunting when I tell him. I think that's what we left him with. Ah, uh, what else could we do? What else could we do? Ah, we could construct the table. We've actually mined that bit out now. So, furniture, short wooden table. Oh, should we go for a steel table? How much should it take? 50. You know, it's kind of hard to get... It's kind of hard to get wood these days, so I'm actually going to go with steel. And then we'll get some steel dining chairs in there as well. Weirdly enough, at this point in time, steel's easier to come by. Major break on trigger. Hmm. So, his apparel is a toque and a parker. Yeah. I mean... We're effectively going to be giving him more of Dead Man's Apparel. If I have anything to say about it. But we could give him better quality stuff. I'm actually going to get Gregor to start stripping these corpses now so we can haul the clothing underneath the roof. Because the bodies are currently deteriorating as well as most of their stuff I would imagine. Uh, haul trumpet out of the way please. We need clothing in here. Do we not? Oh, I think we've messed around with a weird setting to get our prisoner room to accept clothing. I think that's what we did anyway. Seems to be so kind as to haul all that stuff. Trigger's going to rearm all the traps. Wonderful. And I'm quite happy to see that we've actually upgraded. Oh. Trigger is in a little pain and is now on a mental break. At least he is well dressed for the situation. Where is he right now? He's right there. Okay, so if we do need to arrest him for health reasons, then we can. Gregor, keep hauling the clothing if you wouldn't mind. I'd appreciate that. One in Falona to go do it, but he refuses. In fact, Gregor, number one hauler for now. Go haul the stuff. I know we want you to research, but hauling at this current stage, are we getting you to move chunks? Just a minute. It still takes chunks. Okay. Ah, uh, I think. We've set this to critically take chunks, though. Which is not something we want. Thelona failed to build one of the deadfall traps. Okay. So getting all the fires refueled. Very good. And 
and just tidying things up a little bit. If Gregor's working in here all the time, then having a tidy room is going to be good for him. In fact, specifically need to get rid of that lime, just so I'm chunk for that reason alone. We do have low medicine, so I think next episode we're going to have to go and... Oh, spring has begun! Yes! Okay, we're, uh, we're on our way out of winter, and that means, essentially, things will grow. So looking forward to that. We can start growing trees so that we've got our wood supply. We can get our food back on in the rich soil area. Start producing so much food. Hopefully, we no longer have to worry about cold weather. Trigger's fine now. Good. Hopefully at that point we don't have to worry about cold weather so we can take off the dead man's parkas and things like that. Because we just simply don't need the, heat, uh, the cold protection anymore. So that'd be pretty nice. And then we can research complex clothing and just straight up make parkas. It's looking good. As long as we don't get raided by 5,000 tribes people, crossing my fingers, then we'll be completely fine and we should actually last till the next winter. So that's going to be really cool. Alright guys, well if you did enjoy and you want to see more, then be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button and that will give you notifications when the next videos go live. I do hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.